This lab session is based on sampling distributions. So for the first exercise, the final exam marks for first year statistics students are normally distributed with a mean of 68 and a standard deviation of 12. So we can start by writing down the distribution of x. It follows a normal distribution with a mean of 68 and a variance of 12 squared. We want to find the probability that x is more than 80. So the first step would be to standardize. And we find this probability in our tables. Now the next part, what is the probability that a class of 50 has an average final exam mark of less than 65? So it's important that you see the difference here. We are now no longer working with a single student, but we are working with the average mark for a class of 50. So we are working with x bar and we can write down the sampling distribution of x bar. It has the same mean as the population and then it has a variance which is equal to the population variance divided by the sample size which is 50. And now we want to find the probability that x bar, the sample mean, is less than 65. So again we start by standardizing. A few things that I just want to point out again. You have to distinguish between the distribution of x and the distribution of x bar. They have the same um, means, but the variance for x bar is equal to the population variance divided by the sample size. So when we standardize for x bar, we divide by the standard error of the sampling distribution for x bar and that would then be 12 over the square root of n. And then another thing to just note, um, here we are working with a single student x and here we are working with the mean of um, a class of 50. So just make sure that your notation is correct. For the first one it is x and for the second one it is x bar. Okay, then exercise two. A certain company claims that their brand has a market share of 35%. Suppose that in a survey, 500 customers of the product are asked what brand they prefer. Of the 500 customers, 150 indicated that they prefer this company's brand. Now, based on this information, do you think the company's claim is realistic? Okay, so the first thing we would like to do is to get the sample proportion. Now, the sample proportion p hat is x over n. And in this case, we had 150 customers that prefer this company's brand. So, x is 150. And n is my sample size of 500 to give me a sample proportion of 0 0.3. And then we would also like to get the sampling distribution of the sample proportion. Now the sample distribution of p hat is approximately normal with a mean of p and a variance of p 1 minus p over n.
Okay, and if we've come this far, we can now continue to find the probability. We would like to know what is the probability to get a sample proportion of 0.3 or less if the company's claim is in fact um, valid or realistic. So we would like to find the probability that the sample proportion is less than or equal to 30%. And now we standardize. And we divide by the standard error of the sample proportion. Now the standard error is just the square root of the variance. And this is the probability that z is less than or equal to negative 2.34. Okay, and you can go and do the rest of the calculations. And I got an answer of 0 0.0096. So if the company's claim is in fact correct, then there's a very small chance to get a sample proportion of 0.3 or less.